Anyway, my name is Melissa. Behind us, we have our little, lovely little caravan. It's a Jayco's Journey Outback 13.421. I wanted to do a little walkthrough video of our caravan. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this, so it's probably going to be pretty shocking. Anyway, I love looking at YouTube and looking at the walkthroughs that everybody does in their vans. So I thought I'd do one of ours because we're really happy with the way we've got our little van set up. And I think the little 13 foot van um, is a very underrated little van. There's a lot of features and I think they're just perfect. Now, we initially had a camper trailer for many years just an Oz Trail Latitude soft trail we finally got sick of picking up packing up all the canvas so we were looking at getting a caravan we started looking at a lot of the hybrid vans the thing we didn't like with them was a lot of them were really heavy um, then Jayco brought out a couple of years ago the cross track and we really really like the look of the cross track and um, we thought we'd have a good look at those we hired one on Camplify for a weekend and went down to Huskisson had a great weekend and we're just about sold on getting it it was really easy to tow absolutely fantastic um, bed was comfortable loved all the storage loved the way the kitchen was but the last morning it was really really windy and um, the gas stove was a bit tricky to light we had a barbecue that was also a bit tricky and that got us thinking um, about all our trips with our camper trailer we would often end up with wet weather we often called our camper trailer the rainmaker because of that um, and I started to think well if we had the cross track we'd probably want an annex to go with it because if the weather did turn bad you'd want somewhere to get out of the weather so we came back from that weekend got back on Jayco's website had a really good look at all their different vans that they had and um, saw the little 13 foot one um, so we went into Jayco and we priced up what a little journey would cost with all the features that the cross track had so two 80 litre water tanks um, the outdoor shower what else do we add an extended draw bar we went the hot water yep hot water system um, a water filter we got an extended draw bar and an oven actually which I'll talk about that a bit later on and it actually came in cheaper than the cross track so we were really really surprised by that we joined up with the Facebook group the little 13 foot um, I think it's actually Jayco Starcraft group but they're a great group got lots of we put out a few questions with that got lots of helpful advice and ended up choosing one with the two single bed layout so anyway I'm going to go in now and I'll show you through the inside first and then we'll go for a little walk around the outside of our van so I hope this all turns out clear I hope people don't end up seasick from it but so walking in the first thing we got to extend outdoors to make up a draft skirt for us and we are super happy with that we put that on pretty much almost all the time we use it and um, it's been great it we've also we upgraded to the step we took off the little one and you can buy some cheap ones on eBay but we optioned up and got the coast to coast step because that's the brand that Jayco use or it is 
Jaco's and what we really liked about the coast to coast if I just pull this aside is that it was just a straight out screw the other one off and screw this one in the cheaper ones on eBay you can do it fairly simply you just need an angle bracket and then most of them screw up underneath okay so coming in to our van on your left van you have your fire extinguisher then you've got the pantry now this is amazing I really do have to say that in the 13 foot vans you get so much storage in fact you have to be really careful oh that was another thing we did we also got an upgraded um, payload we've got 450 50 kilos on this little van I'll double check that with Andrew but yeah so you have four shelves there these are just baskets from Kmart which work perfectly and what I love about these these are really strong so you can have tins in there we've got all our Yeti holders um, I quite like cooking so I've got that um, that's our Bellman coffee machine absolutely brilliant can make a beautiful cup of coffee with that then so that is fantastic even the 16 foot vans with the ensuite don't have nearly the storage that we've got so having that pantry is brilliant being by the door is fantastic now we optioned up to the full oven we oh that was something else we did we deleted the microwave we got a larger Dometic compressor fridge because this little van has so much storage we decided that the bigger fridge for us would be a lot more beneficial and it is so good it is so quiet it's running at the moment and you can hardly hear it so it's got the freezer in the top that's empty at the moment because we've been away for a few days and I've slowly been taking the meat out we tend to put actually slowly getting veggies back in there but usually that ends up full of Canadian clubs in our beer um, but yeah so we've optioned up for the bigger compressor fridge would highly recommend it hardly uses any power um and that's brilliant underneath the fridge we've got this little flip down now i've just kept that as a flip down i find that really good because what we've got in here is your power point for the fridge i keep my broom head there then in beside the bed I just slide the handle and that works really well I just twist that I'm done I've got our pop top supports we've got a funnel we've got umbrellas I've got my dustpan and brush and a little container with bits and pieces our mosquito coils and hooks um, sheets straps little bibs and bobs batteries that sort of stuff goes in there now in the 13 foot group and this is why it was great i think to join a facebook group when you're thinking about a van because members of those groups are absolutely fantastic with the support that they will give there was i think it was cubby house safari they called themselves they used to have a little 13 foot van and they were talking about having an oven in theirs and I was like at first why would you want an oven in a van I'm not gonna cook a roast in there we've got our Ziggy we use that all the time but then I started to think well actually it really would be fantastic on cold days we use this a lot usually the first night that we go away I tend to have a lasagna that I've cooked through the week and frozen so that we can just set up and kick back and I heat that up in here with the garlic bread I can make a potato bake in this while we're doing steak on the Ziggy 
we've done party pies when we've had takeaway pizza you can reheat it so i would highly recommend it i know a lot of people worry about the storage but like i said this little van is absolutely amazing so that i just keep in there our roasting rack um i got this which is really great because that helps me to monitor the temperature this little plate which sounds <laughs> In the bottom just runs off the battery turns around sometimes i use it sometimes the noise just annoys me but yeah that's great now don't have too much in under here got this little colander and you'll see the bowl in a moment when we're set up um that becomes a fruit bowl this is all our racks for the extra trivet set that we got just a thinner mat and it's just one of those expandable things but i really don't have a lot in that cupboard there up the top we got just a um this little cutting board is great we got that either from a ikea or kmart Andrew just cut the very edges off and I sit it on top of here and then that travels down like that. When you're cooking, I either put it up or I turn it around like that and it makes a really good extra bit of bench space just a drying rack that I used to have in the camper trailer and it's just good under that helps to protect glass one of the things we love with pop top is that you have so much ventilation you've got all your windows around there and the tops of the cupboards when you set up are fantastic just for storing everything it's just brilliant now up here this is your typical i won't open this up you've got your three gas burners you want electric you've got your exhaust fan up there with a light i know a lot of people worry about the step and that for me when we first got this fan i thought that would be annoying um i thought it would be quite dangerous but you actually don't go anywhere near it we've never fallen down that now up the top what you have here is you have two little cupboards these are only really narrow so what we keep in here is just our toothbrush toothpaste um, dental floss head torches that sort of stuff sun cream and this one yep because i haven't even opened that we used to have stubby coolers in there before we got the yeti um fire blanket I don't know we don't tend to use those we didn't go for the radio because we've got the little yui roll and we find that's great we just have that on in here or we put it onto the handle outside and that's great um just excuse our dishes from lunch we've got oh bilson's coffee liqueur i can definitely recommend that we went to beechworth and got that um little compost bin that I use as my rubbish bin in here over here is your control panel this has got all your hot water which Andrew's turned off just ignore this plate at the moment we've taken the surround off we're going to go for three switches we've got one on order because we wanted it all to match that's our isolator switch your pump switch air conditioner which is just when you're on at a caravan park you can use that same with that if you want to use your 240 um, element on your stove i'll get andrew to turn that on and we'll talk about the hot water in a moment then we have this amazing little cupboard in under here which is a bit like our little wine so our wine um, the coffee liqueur would transfer in there this is huge this cupboard this goes all the way in here so this is where i keep that's some saucepan set that i got years ago from Victor. 
that goes in there. I've got the Weber frying pan in here. I keep all my tea towels. Like I said, we'll have wine bottles. The When we travel, the kettle packs into there and the bin packs into there. So they all come out once we get where we're going. Okay, over to here. We've got, when you get this van, this top drawer is just a little flip out drawer that just has, it flips out and it just has a tiny little thing in there that you can put some pens and things in. So what Andrew did, he made up um, this drawer. Now, if I can get in here enough, you can see how the sink actually runs into there. And I think that's why Jaco just had the little flip out. But what Andrew did, he put, packed it out with a support. And then we just got some of these drawer runners and we used, um, just some MDF, I think, I don't know. I painted it up and then we put our cutler in there and it's great. You can see we've got all of our, like our teaspoons, I put yeah, vegetable peelers, that's the handle off my saucepans, knives and forks, I've got my good stay sharp knife, I quite like cooking so I've got all of those. The egg rings fit in there, then in the front we've got our matches, tape measure, got some pens that's from my saucepans as well and we keep the velcro from the awnings in there oh, and the plug then now this is set out like the camper trailer so in the bottom one so this was where the cutlery used to be so it came with that support in there but our plates fit perfectly into that we've got our coffee cups and then we've got these beautiful ones that we got from Hall's Gap which are really nice to drink out of because they keep the coffee nice and warm. In this one, I then have, you know, your cling wrap and foil, that sort of stuff, baking paper, then all the bigger cup measures, can opener, spatula, spoons, whatnot. And the bottom one is a flip down, and this is where I keep all my that's my little thing that I keep all my plastic containers in so that if I cook something can we donate it all you know I've got containers to store it for us to have leftovers and this keeps going back and I've just got another one in here so that's just got our first aid kit more plastic containers spare fuses in case any of our fuses go there's the fuse box and the lighter and that just fits in and that just means that's stuff I don't use a lot so that can go there and that's really easy to get to. In this one you can see I like the way they have all their pipes are all over towards the back. I just put down this matting just to help with things. We've got our water filtration there. I've just got a little container with garbage bags that's where the dishwashing detergent and the soaps when we go away all that just packs into there down the bottom I've just put another container um, money for caravan park washing machines I keep my pegs in there washing powder disinfectant sponges that sort of all my cleaning things but again and I just keep them all in the containers just keeps it all contained and nothing moves when we're traveling Okie dokie. Then up the top you have this container. I tend to put our lighter weight biscuits, pantry things. We don't have too much in here at the moment. We stopped off at the Nimitabel Bakery on the way down and I can highly recommend their fruit mince pies. They are beautiful. This one, again, more pantry things. Like I said, it's not too much for this weekend and then we've got this one where we've got at the moment all our toilet paper the manuals garbage bags and the foil containers that we use in the ziggy 
so that's my little bowl that I said um, just folds down usually goes under there but when we're traveling I put fruit and then when we're on the road I just put that into the sink and it travels really well in there now I'm just going to pause it and I'll pull out our cushions and show you what's underneath the benches okay so I've pulled out the cushions so what we've got here this is where Andrew fitted our diesel heater we've got one battery box there so that fitted in quite nicely there and what he also did was he moved our um, jack out of the tunnel boot and mounted it there because it fits really well there then we have the vent for the heater coming out and that works really well there that towel that hand towel pushes out of the way that's just another vent for it coming in way underneath again two power points there two for when you're on 240 volt and it's not a lot of room in under this one that's just our other battery box and what's that the battery management system, the, the battery management system and the wheel arch okay okay so what I've done, I've got Andrew, we've just turned the hot water on. So you can see the control panel here. At the moment, it's sitting on 26 degrees. We've got an instantaneous, what is it? An instantaneous one. So what we were finding is when it heats up, it would take a little while because the system is actually down under my bed so by the time the water would come through we worked out we were wasting two liters of water so we put an enviro water saver in um, what happens now is when we turn the hot water on you'll notice nothing comes out the hot water starts you can hear that and then you see it getting up to temperature once it's over we've set that at 50 degrees because you need nice hot water when you're washing up when you're camping and then it comes on first little bit is still cold but um, not hardly anything and then it clicks off so it's brilliant we save two liters of water every time when we're out so we are so happy with that and it's great because when I show you our outdoor shower setup we change that temperature down to 40 degrees it means we only have to turn the hot water tap on and yeah it's excellent so let's keep having a bit of a look around here so up in here is where I keep all my oh well that's pretty well empty at the moment we've got our son's drone to have a bit of a play with this trip I've just got some of my clothes there there oh, I don't even know what I've got oh, a hairdryer that just lives in here for when we're in a caravan park like I said there's storage galore in this fan we um, put the Sirocco fans in they are absolutely brilliant really really good so they just angle out I think you've probably seen the people have done these lots of videos on how these work you can twist them and rotate them around in so many different ways that they're great we're very very happy with those we've got light switches there that you can turn all the lights off we got rid of our hanging space um, comes with a mirror so that was a bit nice after the camper trailer we got rid of the hanging space and Andrew put the black shelves in and I tend to have yeah bathroom stuff bags and everything there that's my shelf I could probably do this heaps neater but it works for me I've just got like swimmers dress shorts shirts 
there and Andrew's drawer down the back which goes forever because he's got bigger clothes than I do and he doesn't take as much and we just put that we don't use that at all anymore so we just keep it in there just in case we want it um, down here you have this was the nice bit with the single vans everybody said the advantage with the single vans is you get those two extra cupboards above the windows and you have this usable space in the middle um, and it's really good we've just got a little bath mat from Ikea and put down there and it's really nice when you open it up and to stand on so that's our socks and undies drawer I find that three of these shopping bags fits brilliantly in here so Andrew has one for his shoes dirty clothes and my shoes in there works really well now what we also did we've got two of these little pockets from Ikea now um, I keep like my iPad and my Kindle jewelry and stuff like that in there and Andrew put in more USB points a lot of people will tap in off the light and have them there but I didn't I think when you've got a little van you've got to sort of try and keep things neat and organized and I didn't want cables running everywhere so I'll lift up the bed and I'll show you what we have under the bed but Andrew's actually put the USBs in there and then we installed these so that the leads can come out to here and it just keeps everything really nice and neat. Now this side also has a little drop down flap but it's pretty small. I find it easier just to open up the bed so I use one of our pop pop struts and that helps me when I lift up the bed. Now I'll do that and then I'll show you what's underneath. So what I found with our bed to get them they actually open up quite well but you just need to move if your pillows out of the way and if you pull your mattress forward a little bit. Um, I'll also show you too what I've done I've got some of these sheet savers I think they're called and I just put one at each end and one in the middle just keeps they're fitted single fitted sheets but keeps everything the sheets on really well and I tuck the bottoms in now that's our hot water system there that you could hear and the water pump and then what we tend to keep under my side of the bed is all of our screens our chairs go under there, our little stools. We're just very aware that in this van, whilst we've got the hot water there, um, we've got the fridge on the other side. So just to balance things out. And when we had it weighed, it was pretty good the way, yeah. So we tend to put more of the weighty things there. now. Yeah, these are just something that fit over. That you could get them for kids' beds. Just got, because it's black, he just took the feed, I think, from the lights. And then we've got the two USBs in there that just stick out and come out there. Keeps it all nice and neat, easy to get. Um, and they just tuck away in there. Under Andrew's side of the bed, his is the same. He's got two drawers up there and his two cupboards. Um, we didn't go a TV. We sort of find that what we'll do is we'll take our laptop with us and we'll download um, Netflix shows to that or do it from off our... Do it from... Um, you know we'll hotspot off our phones and that works really well for us under Andrew's side of the bed his side doesn't have the flap in it but it's the same you just lift it up and we tend to just put like our bike 
bags with our bike gear if we've got our bikes with us okay i think that is everything for the inside so as you can see these little vans we've got lots of empty cupboard space i don't think we've ever yet filled it all up oh sh probably should show you up on the ceiling actually you have that uh, one light there that's your smoke detector and carbon monoxide we do have the aerial it came standard with the aerial it's got the connections um, we could get a TV down the track I don't know I've got the Dometic air conditioner which works great when you're at a caravan park it's also really good for heating and yeah one of the lights so yeah that's our little van and as you can see masses tiny but masses of storage so we find it's really really very comfortable and we are very very happy with this little van okay i might head outside and i'll show you what we've got outside once i get stuff for dinner. Andrew's getting the fire going. We're going to have an also buko tonight so I might start getting that ready then I'll show you around the outside. Okay. Okay so what we do, um, our hot water is on the outside of our van. Now these are actually quarter turn taps so to turn the hot water on it's just a quarter of a turn that way and that will start you can hear the hot water kicking on. Now we've got one of the Julka shower tents, which is really, really great, but it's meant for camping. And I was trying to work out how we could set it up similar to the cross track with their um, ensuite at the back. So I took it to a local fellow, Pedro from PT All Sewings in Canberra, who added an extra door into the side for us which means we can set this up at the back so the drill cook has this there because what i was really wanting to do was to minimize the length of hose now you can see here we've got a drainage hose which will make more sense once we come in you'll see with the drill so this is our portaloo here so we've got that we've got these great shower flaps here and you know you've got that for the toilet roll that's our portaloo setup and this is our shower setup now what pedro did for us as well which was really really difficult but i'm going to propose jill could do it because their tents come with this flap here pedro put in an extra zip for us on this side which meant we could run this through then Andrew bought a 90 degree angle fitting from Bunnings and then this extra bit here. So we took off the Jayco shower head and then we fitted the Julka one up to the top here. So that can stay in. We just unplug this here when we disconnect. But what we love about this is the Julka one, once you turn the water on, then you have a switch here to turn it on and off. So this is where the Envire Water Saver is fantastic. So I've just clicked that on. You might be able to hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but in the background, it's running. So, you know, you just wait a tiny little bit this is where we're not wasting the water. So we've adjusted the temperature to 40 degrees. We don't need to do anything else. And then that comes on and it is amazing. It gives the best shower. So we soap up, turn it off. I mean, we get wet, turn it off. Soap's in there, soap up. We, when we got this, also got a base from Drifter. Now, at the time we got this tent a couple of years ago, Drifter were pretty much the only one that were making a canvas base. So they were fairly expensive. I think there's a heap of cheaper options now. Um, but 
really didn't want to be standing in a puddle. Even though the Julka tent has this and then the mesh sides to drain the water away. It's just the thoughts of it all being a muddy mess. Like we're here for five days and after five nights of showering, this would be so wet around here. This has that in the corner. Like I said, it's not fan, you know, like it's not great, but it does the job. What we then can do at the end is you just tip that up and the water runs out. So we're super stoked with this this has just been working so well for us this weekend um awesome with the portaloo we also do have which we didn't bring with us but we do have another fitting to go over the top um for if the weather was really bad it's just like a rain fly plus we have the extend outdoors porch that we can put off this side which means you could virtually get in and out of that, even if it was pouring with rain. So I'm just gonna turn that water off now. Um, that's done. And yeah, really, really happy. But I tell you what, if Julka could make these tents with this, and I might just send that, that's brilliant because you get a great length of hose from Julka with their shower heads but it's just about trying not to waste your water okay so around this side you'll just have to excuse our little van he is looking a little bit dirty at the moment what we did we that's where we fitted our tank for our diesel heater we've put that on the back to put our poles in that's the grey water outlet. Yes, we need to empty that. That's where the diesel heater. Andrew run it from up in there. And it comes out the exhaust out this side. Okay. Here you have your standard, I don't know, your plug that you can plug in. At a caravan park when we're home, your fuses. That's our hot water system in there. I don't know. Oh, yep, that's unlocked so we can turn it on and off. We turn it off over night time and it just saves, even though it's not running, it still just seems to save a little bit of a little bit with the battery. Um, yeah. So you just got to be careful that does get hot. Tunnel boot, um, extended drawer bar. We've got the tap on here. We opted not to have a jerry can holder. We felt that we just didn't need it. With two 80 litre water tanks, we just don't need it. So um, we opted not to have that. That's just the fitting that we have for our Grip Sport bike rack. This weekend we've taken our kayaks away. Now, Andrew, come over here. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's super excited about this. I'm going to get him to stand behind me because I'm, he's watching our also Booko, which is now on in the camp oven. So, what Andrew did over here, do you want to explain what you did? Because what we've got, we've got one, what's our solar panel on the top? 180 watt. 180 watt. So, the trouble with that is it's flat, so you're not going to always get optimal sun. So what Andrew did, he's wired this into, can you explain that? It's Just an additional Anderson plug that's wired directly into the solar input of the battery management system. So you can plug an unregulated solar panel in it and chase the sun. Yeah, and this works brilliantly. We've been the last well, yesterday had, was really overcast. We had a lot of rain. Had ten days off grid in January, a lot of wet weather, and yep. we didn't run below about eighty percent. Yeah, we haven't gone below eighty percent. Like yeah, in January last um, this year, twenty twenty two. 
in Jinder Barn was pretty well overcast the whole time but this just gives us flexibility to chase that sun and angle it but you can angle the legs back as well so you can lay it flatter um, and it's great and that way then depending on where your sun is you've got that topping up but we're pretty well on 99% now anyway aren't we yeah. Okay, so in our tunnel boot, we always keep our little clothesline as well that folds down. That's great. We went kayaking today, so that's just drying off all our things. Um, and what we also have is the anti-flap kit. It's that an Aussie Traveller anti-flap kit, which is brilliant. We absolutely love that. It's pretty breezy here today and that just keeps it nice and solid if it got crazy windy we'd still definitely pull the awning in but that's really good and we also have these navigator straps which have loosened off like andrew might want to just tighten those up a bit but they're really easy to tighten up because you can unclick do you want to just tighten that up a bit and you can see you can just unclick them tighten them and then once you've got it where you want it yep pull it in pull it down have a magnet there that you can put a bottle holder on apparently and they just run in and fit in to one of the sail tracks on there so that's great what we also really, really love, and we use a lot, are these Austral stools. Let me just show you, because they come with, they've got a hard top on them, so we can put our plates on them. If we want, we can put our drinks on them. You can flip that down, and then if we've got the table set up outside, that's a really good height. I'm really short, I'm not even five foot, so, to sit in those chairs at a table I'm really low and even Andrew's low but it's also a great footrest because that's the other thing we didn't want to be taking big bulky chairs with us so we set that up in front and um, that's great then you can sit back with your feet up I'll just show you where we are this is beautiful this is i'm getting around in bare feet here this grass is just amazing there are no prickles it's like a lawn so this is from hip camp it's near kia um arthur and jenny have got the most amazing setup there's two camp areas it is 25 dollars per person a night but i think they count children up to 16 are uh, free We've got the premium one, so there's a composting toilet up the top of that hill. And then I'll just take you for a little walk. There's, we go over there, we took our kayaks. Um, we have, they have the wheels on them, so we wheel it up over there. They've got a boat ramp. But up over this hill is, I think it's the Toowoomba river up here you can see look at this it's just beautiful we went for a nine kilometer kayak today four and a half five k's it got really windy so we had we stopped because we were getting out towards the sea you can come out near the davidson whaling station but this is beautiful like and it really is tomorrow we're gonna head up that way yeah. so I highly recommend this site so you can get they'll only book one group on there at a time so if you had a group it would be a great spot as well so okay so i hope you found this 
useful I don't know what it's gonna turn out like first video I've ever made so hopefully it doesn't make you seasick as you're following me around I just wanted to show our little van because I've found I've got so much from looking at other people's vans and how they set things up it's given me lots of ideas for ours and yeah I just wanted to give back a little bit and so that everybody could also have a good look because I really do think that the little journey 13 foot is a very underrated little van if there's just you know as a couple this is just the easiest little van to get around it can fit into anywhere and yeah we're really happy with the setup that we have and the places it lets us go so excellent thank you